Hi guys, what I'm going to do today is just show you how to make a overlay um, which is going to be optimized for use in Black Ops 3. Um, you can use this overlay on videos for YouTube um, and Twitch streaming. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I've opened up Photoshop. I'm just going to create a new page. Right. What I'm going to do is you want to be selecting the preset film and video. You want to go to size HD TV 1080p. And you just want to click OK. So this is going to open up the page. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of grid lines on here and some um, some extras. So just make sure that you go to View and select Extras. Um, I've also got rulers ticked on and snap. What I'm going to do straight away is, while still in view, I'm just going to go to new guide and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put a vertical line straight down the middle of the page. So all I need to do is just work out basically what is half of this page length. So we've got say 27, so half of 27, so that's 13.5. So this is just going to quickly put a line down the middle and we're going to use it as a guide later on. Um, right, now that we've got to this stage, what we can do is just open up Google. What we're going to do is we're going to search for Black Ops 3 in-game HD. The reason why we're searching for this is we're going to get an image uh, which will show what is going to be on the screen. So very similar to this, obviously you can see that we've got um, the the score streak down here and we've got uh, a little bit of actually what's happening in the game like a kill feed but we want one that is going to be large in size large enough to fit our page um, so I'm just gonna drop down filter out and get the large right just um, just browse through try to find one that will fit your needs this seems to do it actually looks like it's from a thumbnail from YouTube um, as you can see, it's got the minimap, it's got the current score, a bit of a kill feed, um, the kill streaks, and what perks that the guy is running. So, what I'm going to do is just view image. I'm going to right click this, copy image, and I'm just going to go to edit in Photoshop and just paste. So, as you can see, it's pasted right into the center there, um, and it's clearly representing all of the little bits of information that are around the side. Now, since we're making this optimized um, for use in Black Ops 3, what we don't want to do is block out any of this information with our overlay. So, we want to try and avoid um, the minimap that's in the top left-hand corner, and it looks like the the, the middle um, in the bottom of the overlay is going to be prime for putting any information like websites or anything like that. So, let's get started with the overlay. What you want to do is go across to the pen tool. Um, you want to just click on that. Just make sure that you don't have fill and stroke um, actually active. Just make sure they've got a, a red cross through them. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier later on down the line. So now what we're going to do is we're working on this area in the top left hand corner where it's blacked out. I'm going to work on the outside first just so when we do create the overlay we're going to have no gaps. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier to use later on down the line. So. All I'm going to do is just left click once, as you can see a little dot's just appeared. Now if you hold shift on your keyboard and go right across to just after where the minimap is, it's going to create a straight line if you click again. And what we're going to do from here is just go down diagonal, we'll go down two spaces. As you can see I'm using those extras, I've got obviously some sort of uh, grid lines on here. Um, I'm going to go then straight across and go across to the vertical line that I placed at the beginning. Now I've just held shift there to get a straight line. I'm going to just hold shift again to go straight up. Now what I'm going to do is go back on myself, go as far back across to where we started and I'm just going to join it all up. As you can see it's, we've created half of what's going to be our overlay on the top. Now what I'm going to do, just to make it a little bit easier to deal with, I'm just going to colour it in using the paint bucket. I've got black, you can choose any colour you want. What I'm going to do is just click and it's going to come up with, do you want to rasterize this shape? Okay. So I've just rasterized the shape. Um, 
obviously it went to white but if you just click on it again it will go straight into black now what we want to do is whilst the shape is still selected we want to go to um, cross to the layer and we just want to duplicate the layer now we're just going to click OK doesn't matter what it's called it's duplicate the layer can't see it because it's directly underneath what I'm going to do is just go to edit and go to transform we're going to go down to flip horizontally as you can see it's just appeared there what I do is just get the move tool I'm going to drag it across and just join it together on the other side so I'm just going to take off the extras and now you can see that we've got the beginnings of our overlay on the top so now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge together these two layers um, merging them together means that any edits that we make such as colors or effects it's going to affect both parts of the um, of the overlay so I'm just going to hold shift while selecting these two I'm going to right click and I'm just going to go down to merge layers now that they're merged I'm just going to call it something because it makes it a little bit um, easier to deal with uh, overlay top we'll call it right um, now that we've got the overlay on the top there um, obviously we're not blocking off any parts of where information is going to appear um, now all I'm going to do is just add some effects so basically we can put on drop shadows and things like that quite easy to do all you got to do is just right click and go to blending options um, what we'll do is as I said we'll put on a drop shadow as you can see it's a nice little bit of a drop there um, we'll go into um, bevel and emboss um, you can't really see the effects of it at the minute but what I'll do is I will change the color um, to say red um, I'm just gonna fill it in and now you can see the effects a lot better obviously you can see that it's it's it's, it's pretty much merging with our with our image really well now what you can do up here is you can just type in your gamer tag um, any information that you want um, I'm just gonna type in my gamer tag and let's make sure we got it on black yep so this is my gamer tag on the PS4 um, so there we go just place that in the middle there you can also add effects to this as well if you want so we can basically right click on here um, go to blending options and stick a bit of uh, bevel and emboss on it um, we can also do a stroke um, if you click on the actual word stroke you'll be able to change the color of the actual um, outline um, we can also stick on a drop shadow um, yeah I think I'll just go with that um, Right, so now is the point where you want to be potentially going on to Google again um, and just trying to get yourself some little logos, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a Twitter logo. If you select PNG, you tend to find it um, a little bit easier to integrate uh, within your page. Um, as you can see, it's PNG basically means it's transparent. You might have difficulties, um, sometimes you do, um, if you're just going to be copying the image and going straight onto your document uh, if I've just pasted you can see that what was initially transparent has now gone to black if this does happen there's two ways around this you can either use the magic wand tool just select the black parts that have appeared and just press delete um, this should get rid of them easily enough for you so you don't have to go ahead and do the other way which is to actually save this image on your hard drive by saving the image on the hard drive it keeps the the format that it's been saved in as being a PNG so it's easier to then place onto your new page um, but just for the sake of it I've just deleted it using the magic wand now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale this down uh, to size and I'm just going to throw it up on top of the overlay so now what I would suggest to you guys is just fill your overlay with um, a couple of different logos maybe it's YouTube 
you want maybe Twitch, um, you know, anything that Facebook, anything that really relates to you, um, like in terms of social media or where people can catch you. Um, another thing that we can do just to take things to the next level, because obviously, you know, we've just got a flat, solid color up here. Um, we can go ahead and st stick some background onto our overlay. Now, I'm a massive fan of like Marvel Comics and um, Hulk being my favorite. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and type in Hulk Wallpaper HD onto Google. Obviously, we've got quite a lot of different uh, images of Hulk here. So what I'm going to try and do is just get one that's maybe showing him going a little bit rage. Um, this looks perfect. It's in uh, really good HD quality. So what I'm going to do is just go copy image and I'm just going to paste the image onto my page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to decide on where about to put it. Um, I'm thinking maybe he's putting the face around here. Um, you've got to take into consideration that once you do place the image within your overlay, uh, you may need to change the color of your actual overlay to try and blend it in together. So potentially I'm now going to maybe have to change the color of the overlay to be in black. But I'll show you the process. And anyways, just take that into consideration. Um, right, so I've got my placement right. Um, if I just, you can use the, the little eye here just to um, take off the layer seat and just double check to make sure it's going to fit in fine. Now what you want to do is just whilst selecting this layer you want to just hold on to uh, control and go down to where we've got overlay top and just select the little square the little thumbnail image and it should come up with the marching ants around it now that these marching ants are selected and we've got the overlay on the top selected um, what we want to do is we just want to go to Control, Shift, and I. And what it's going to do, it's going to flip it over so everything else is selected and the overlay is left behind. Now if we just press Delete, now you can see that we've got Hulk's face within the image. Um, if I just do Control and D, that's going to deselect it and we'll carry on editing the image. Now what, um, as I previously said, um, obviously we could go ahead and change the colors within the the Hulk image but to be honest to save time um, I'm just going to change the color of the overlay to black so I'm just going to select the overlay I'm going to go and select black and just paste it onto there and that's that done so now we've colored that in black obviously we've lost my words so basically all we need to do is just place the thirst blood my gamer tag on top and there we go, we've got the top part of the layer done. Obviously, if you want to, you can add some more things such as YouTube and Twitch logos and just jazz it up a little bit more with maybe some effect. Um, for the bottom, it's a very similar process. I'm just going to go to View and I'm just going to put on the extras again just so we can use this, this bar at the bottom. Um, what we're going to do is go back to the pen tool. Now, rather than starting from the left-hand side, obviously we can see that uh, we've got the scoreboard here, or even starting from the right-hand side, you can see we've got a kill streak and some ammo. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to miss out all of this bit, and we're going to start from round about um, here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in at an angle. So, let's make it seem as if we're, we're coming out. Of the uh, of the page, um, what I'm going to do is just click the button again, and we're just going to hold Shift and going to go straight across to that vertical line, and go down, holding Shift, and then join it up together. It's a lot smaller than the one on the top, um, but you can, if you want to, you could extend right the way across to where you're not going to be covering up any information. So now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to color this in just as we did before. Rasterize, yep, that's okay. So I've got this colored in now, and now all I'm going to do is just go to, I've um, got the shape up here. I'm just going to go to duplicate the layer. Just click OK, go to edit, then go down to transform, and we're just going to flip it horizontally. 
we're going to then select the move to and we're just going to drag it across and line these two up now that they're lined up just going to join them two together and merge them I'm just going to hold shift and selecting both of the layers just going to right click and go down to merge layers and then I'm just going to call it bottom layer or bottom overlay right now that that's done I'll just go to view again take off extras and now obviously you can see we've got a bottom bit there and just like a similar process before you just want to be typing in whenever you want maybe showing some logos um, I'm just gonna type in once I've selected white I'm just gonna type in the website that I work for um, I write a blog over there just some helpful tips um, about gaming and what you can do to help advance your gaming setup so now that that's done all you want to be doing is we want to just click the layer off which has the background um, for the the Call of Duty um, optimizing so I'm just going to take that off just like that now all I'm going to do is go to file save for the web we're going to change the the style that it's actually going to be the the format that's going to be saving it from JPEG to PNG 24 what this is going to do is it's going to make this white part actually transparent um, and then what we can do is just go to save and I'm just going to save it on desktop just as test um, I'm just going to minimize these I'm going to go to test actually what we can see is we've got a little bit of a problem there because we've still got the background as being white so I'm just going to go straight back into Photoshop as you can see we've got the background there we just need to delete that now if we go to file and save for web we've got PNG 24 as you can see it's transparent I'm just going to go to save save over the top of test and press save and I'm just gonna go and check make sure that it's saved fine and there we go so that's basically how we make an optimized overlay for use in Black Ops 3 now you're gonna go ahead and go and get uh, the, the software um, XSplit uh, something like that to try and integrate it with your twitch um, if you're using maybe Movie Maker to do some YouTube uploads, it's quite easy just to, to bring this document across and place it on top of any videos that you've made. So basically that's all for today. Um, I hope it's been very helpful for you. Um, if you've got any questions or suggestions, um, just leave them in the comments below. If you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like it, thumbs it down. And um, just check out for my next videos because I'm going to be doing a optimized uh, overlay for Star Wars Battlefront. So I'll check you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.